time. Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Charity. Today, I'd like to share a story with you about a political scientist's passion for specialty coffee. It is about searching for and preserving identity. It is my story. While some of you may know me as a coffee professional, in a not so distant past, I dreamt about working for the UN. And so, I worked really hard and I earned my dual master's degree in public policy from the United Nations University. But unlike my classmates, I was lost. I didn't enjoy it. With long days and nights, studying, crunching numbers, and in search of myself, coffee became my best companion. Every day, I'd look forward to brewing my morning coffee, studying in coffee shops, tasting new flavors, learning new techniques, and just geeking out on coffee. It truly made me happy, and little did I know, that was how my coffee identity began. Judges, your kindness and your contagious smiles are part of your unique identities that make you special. And the same goes for coffee. So, in search of my competition coffee, I found one. A coffee that represents itself. And a coffee that is processed to enhance and preserve its unique identity. It easily became my favorite. This coffee is planted in Volcan, Panama, at the Iris Estate, produced by Jameson and Sasha. Grown on 2,300 meters above sea level. Such extreme elevations allow green tip geisha to produce best flavor profile. Floral, bright, and elegant cup qualities. My coffee was anaerobically processed. Fully ripe coffee cherries went through 100 hours of fermentation. And to me, this coffee, enha correction, enhancing tropical fruit flavors, to me, this coffee is a beautiful representation of a Panaman geisha. And now the roasting of this coffee. So my coffee was roasted two weeks ago. The total roast time, eight minutes and six seconds. Development time, 30 seconds. And the end temperature of 195 degrees Celsius. I found this to be the best roast. Why? Because it creates delicate vibrancy, great texture, and it preserves my coffee flavors. And so now, it's finally time for me to prepare your coffee. Through my technique, I'll preserve the coffee's identity and showcase that to you. For that, I've decided to use my all-time favorite brewer, the Hario Switch. The, this is a brewer that I use every day at work as a barista. I find that it gives me high control, and the switch mechanism allows me to have greater consistency across my brews. I'm pairing that with a very special filter paper that is made of hydrophobic fiber, meaning that it is water repellent so that coffee solubles can pass through without being absorbed. This way, I can have more viscosity and a silkier body. And now, the recipe for today. I'm using 15 grams of coffee to 225 grams of water. Ratio of 1 to 15. The water temperature is at 91 degrees Celsius. And I'll do a total of 3 fourths, giving me a target TDS of 1.4. The total brew time is 3 minutes. And judges, I found that these brewing parameters give me the perfect extraction of flavor and a well-balanced cup, which is what I look for in my cup of coffee. As for the water, after many tests, I found that I needed a hardness level of 70 ppm to best extract the flavors. I'm so excited for you to taste this coffee. So now, will you please begin taking some notes for me? In the aroma, you will find clementine, orange blossom, followed by passion fruit. And now for the flavors, as the coffee is hot, Clementine again, street, sweet passion fruit, and strawberries in the end.
And now, as the coffee is warm, in addition to hot, continue to enjoy the clementine notes, followed by nectarine. sweet pineapple, and passion fruit. Now as the coffee is cool, now you'll have an evolved note of clementine, followed by red grapes, and pineapple. The aftertaste of this coffee is long. with really nice clementine notes and sweet cacao nibs. And now for the acidity. It is complex. You have nice malic acidity, just like in red grapes. And then it becomes more citric, just like in clementines. This is well integrated from hot to cold. Now, the body of this coffee, it is medium intensity, and when it's hot, it's syrupy in your mouth. And when coffee cools down, it becomes juicier. The balance, it is exceptional. With sweetness up front, it is supported by delicate acidity with low to none bitterness. And overall, it is an exceptional coffee with a unique identity. But judges, please take your time taking your notes. If you forget anything, no worries. The information cards in front of you are for you to take home. Now, I invite you to follow my drinking procedure to fully enjoy this beverage. Let us begin by assessing the aroma through this unique vessel named Aerate. It was designed to amplify aroma by aerating the coffee through the two inner ridges as we swirl. So please, judges, grab onto the vessel, swirl six times, and bring it to your nose for assessment. And enjoy. And once you're ready, I'll pour the coffee directly into your glasses. Enjoy. Are you ready? Now, to further reveal other aromas and flavors in your coffee, I have selected these very special cups. They're uniquely designed to further enhance your coffee drinking experience. First, the shape helps improve the uh, magnification of aroma and intensifies flavor. And then the glass and the thickness helps improve the mouthfeel and the texture of the coffee within your mouth. So, Please go ahead and use your cupping spoons when the coffee is hot. And when cool, you may drink directly from the glasses. May I? Judges, I know you're excited, but please don't start tasting the coffee just yet. May I? May I? Judges, we spend years and sometimes a lifetime trying to find our true identity. But from the Irish to say to me, we show you that sometimes it's, we can just do what we love. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Time.